So on my last video I did the lightweight trailer hookup stuff about a week ago. I got a lot of comments and a lot of them were pretty much saying to run the wiring through the clip right here. And then another comment I got is uh, criticism for not having any clips on these. These are just a straight hook. These have been used for years and years. Um, I've been using this particular set of chains for about 10 years. I've never had them fall off. I always hook it from underneath like this and it's just never been a problem. No matter how you whip that or try to get that to come off, it's not going to come off until you get right to here and angle this up and push down. In course of driving with gravity and wind and everything else acting on these chains, they just never come off. Um, clips would be safer probably, except for one thing. The ones that are that are, they drill a hole in the side here to put a little wire clip, that creates a weakness in this part of the chain, this part of the hook. Once you do that, it can be a problem. So it's kind of a trade-off is what I'm saying. If, if this came undone, let's talk about this for just a second. Um, with wiring, you know, if the wiring snags on something, it can cause that to come off. It's not going to happen, but it's a possibility. But this does keep it clean and out of the way. But again, it's a trade-off. You know, there's pluses and minuses to all kinds of things. Um, in fact, let's pull this off. Get these out of the way. So say this came off. If it did come off and went up underneath the ear, that chain's still in good shape to hold it there. This won't cradle catch because this is so low to the ground. You see that this has been turned to be a rise instead of a drop um, just because it's on the minivan and the minivan's so low. But you can see how when the chains are crossed it helps limit the movement side to side. Anyway, I've taken this trailer hauling motorcycles out to the desert and the forest and all kinds of rocky roads, bumpy stuff. Uh, for 10 years I've used this trailer this way and I've never ever had even one chain come off. Never had the trailer come off either, which is good. But anyway, running this through here is a great idea, but there is some trade off to it. Having clips on these another great idea and a lot of laws are set up in states where you have to have the clips on them I do not live in one of those states uh, yeah, as soon as you let that go it just wants to be on there I hook the chains up through the hole or up through the receiver because that way that stays in a position where if you hit a bump and it jolts it straight up it hits into the hook instead of popping off you see the one on the left as this arrow indicates it goes up it hits itself it doesn't fall out on the other one, if it goes up, it has a potential to come free. This wants to be happy. The chain angle is way different here than it is on my truck. Let's take a look at it on the truck, shall we? Let's hook this up again. This is going to be the short abbreviated version. Let's do the coupler. Do the clip. Do the wire harness. I'll run it through here for kicks and giggles. It's more likely to get yanked out on this setup is one reason, just because this is on this side. Pull on the wire, now it's undone. It's not gonna happen, but it could. We just take our chains. We'll hook these up. There we go. So let's do the shake test on this one, shall we? Ever. Do the same thing on this side. I'm really trying to get this off. I'm trying to send shock forward, side to side, up and down. Get off of there. It just doesn't happen. You would think that it would, but there are a lot of things that are counterintuitive. This being one of them. It just, they never come off. So let's give it the fall off test. I save my wiring so I don't have to redo it. Bam, 
the trailer would hit. So I may have some vulnerability there. They're not falling off. Let's get right up underneath there, get really slack. Let's take them. That one came off. Get right up underneath it there, so we may be onto something here. Especially whereas this one can get forward under the truck. You guys are right. So this is my car hauler trailer. It's not my favorite coupler, but it's okay. At least it's a forward backward one. But you see the clips on this, you can't get the clips to attach and let you gotta go sideways to begin with, come out, and then you got these rinky dink clips that uh, are kind of a nuisance because you gotta go all the way this way. As soon as this takes weight, it's going to destroy this and it's going to become worthless. At which point this hook isn't as long, isn't as tight as the other type and it may fall off, I don't know. I just clip them anyway, but it's, it's kind of like letter of the law and spirit of the law. This is letter of the law and maybe this is spirit of the law, maybe this is safer. Because that way when it takes weight it doesn't kill it. And if it goes that way then you're good. I don't know. Like I say, you know, letter of the law, spirit of the law kind of thing. Let's look at the ones on my other trailer. So when you look at my camper trailer, it's not any different. It's the same thing. You get those same clips. These seem more, more robust to me, but it's the same kind of thing. You see high test. You know, they're good chains, but they're only as good as they are if they stay on, I guess. What do you do?